Hello once again audience And today I'll show you the advanced store I know it took it took a while God damn it I don't have even a litter on me <sighs> Credit to gamer you're so unprepared There we go So we're actually on 1.10 Because that just got released and I had this video recorded, kinda, without a sound. Because I recorded it and I was thinking that I'll add the sound later. But now I'm just doing it live. So, here's the very first version. It opens and closes automatically. And over here, is the button one that I showed earlier how to make it it works like a dream man it works like a dream then over here is the special one and this one uses glass cause either this glass needs to be one block more here or we blew put glass on it so we can get under easier so yeah that works much better than that one also to note was it I think it's actually this tree so if we look under this tree right here you can see we have we have a tree because you get a jump you can't use the elytra here so, now that I have been speaking lots of crap and not having I actually haven't built it this more than twice so <laughs> I suck this is why I don't do redstone tutorials actually no, this is why I don't have any subscribers although I have few but they don't count so, here we go we put these repeaters, we put the redstone torches, we put everything, don't need to have one tick. And there needs to be that one, there needs to be that one. And now we take the next step. That should be either this one or that one. But I guess we do this one. So, yeah, that's the red wool. Because we want to be all color organized and such. If that even made any sense I want that freaking thing away there we go oh wait we need it anyways oops so what do we don't have in inventory that one I think I have everything now so over here comes the one and only minecart that will take care of all of our problems there we go, there we go, put that over there, put that over there, take that away, take that away. <sighs> I think I'm actually sick right now, because I have huge headache yesterday, and I stopped playing at 6pm, wow. And yeah, the headache just kept on going. And it hurt. It hurt a lot. So I went to sleep. And it's right now quite a lot. It's half past 11. So, yeah. And I totally forgot what I was doing. Well, whatever. We're going to need this stuff going. Was it over here? I think it was over there. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just building what I kind of remember, but I don't. <laughs> kind of remember, but I don't. Makes sense. My life is a lie. It's all just a big fat lie. I keep lying to myself. 
Nailed it. And this one goes over here, and we don't have the redstone block, and now I'm getting hiccups. There we go. And I'm still getting hiccups. Perfect. That's everything we were missing from the recording. Hiccups. There we go. Like my building is not hiccup enough. So I think this part is ready now. And that part comes right over here. Not that way, this way. I should probably have built this differently. Like, you know, build it actually in ground to make it look more legit. <laughs> or make it look more like how you would actually build it. Because right now I'm just building it in nothingness. But it's kind of... It doesn't make sense to make tutorial of building something to empty space. Because Minecraft isn't empty. So... Yeah, I'm stupid. Don't hate me because of that. Wait, that needs to be a redstone block. Give me that redstone block. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Thank you. No, that part is done. Because I'm a mean person. God damn it. There we go. There, there, and here. Perfect. It's perfect. And just like that. And this is pretty straightforward. We're going to click that, and then you just that there, that there, and first one done, and you put that, you click it, I forgot to put that block here, you put that, you put that, it's just the same thing over and over again. Why do I even need to explain what I'm doing? Or, I'm not even explaining anything, I'm just saying do that, and that, and that, and that, it makes lots of sense. So, now that part is done, and guess what I just remember? We forgot the snowballs. Oh. So, if you would be professional about this, you would totally not put snowballs without renaming them. You would have an anvil and you would rename the snowballs. But, because I'm lazy, I'm not gonna do that. The same way, you would not have... That's perfectly normal. You would not have normal redstone, you would have it renamed. Get it? This is normal redstone. Trust me. <laughs> it's perfectly <laughs> like everything is just shut up. It's perfectly normal. This is how it's supposed to be. Also, we forgot to put the actual thing here. And what the crap did I do? do? We could have the chest over here. Did we do this right? Yeah, we did. We can't have that any closer over here. Because that would screw up everything! If I remember right, it screwed up everything. Don't hate me. So, we just put the slab uh, pressure pressure plate and now it's done all good and done now give me redstone and then we forgot that we have to have the hole and why is the hole at the very wrong place now the hole is at the right, right place we did do this wrong right yep that's why it looks wrong I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. There we go. And I think it's done right now. So now, if we just... 
Ooh, it's, it just works. And if we would not be creative, we would not be flying every time we jump. So, you don't actually need the one block over here. This works perfectly. And the items are not... What? Oh yeah, I forgot to put it... Put the redstone there, so it actually replaced. Now if we throw the redstone, and we go down... And we get glitched like that. So here... And now it comes up here. There we go. Over here, I have it breaking... I have breaking down the redstone from there. So, this is the door. Opening mechanism. It's quite simple. It's just from down up version of the one with this up down. Makes sense. So we have two repeaters here. We have this as an input. And then we have redstone torches and redstone torches. So first this one shuts down what retracts that one. And then these two shuts down and retracts that one. And the other door is open. And then the same reverse, except no, this one lights up first, because it's, it has the least ticks on it, and these come a little bit behind, and that's how it works, the store apartment. Now here, we have the system that takes control of the input from outside, where we have this minecart that picks up whatever item comes in on top of it and over here we have items shorter that it's empty because I didn't add anything in it but we can see here two redstone and five snowballs and one redstone over here and then the signal goes on over here it lets one item get through and it moves up over there. And if it's the wrong item it just goes along anyways. What is kind of bad thing if someone dies near your house and their item goes in, they are gonna hear the droppers over there. That's kind of bad thing. But it's something you gotta pay to make it so make something compact. So, these two repeaters, obviously this is connected to this, but what is this doing? Is it stopping that? No, this one takes care of this piston over here, because here is the input for the... This is the main input for everything. The Brain does not compute. It's not a half slap. Pressure plate. It's a pressure plate. The pressure plate is on top of here. And that redstone torch over here. It goes through here. Two redstone torches. That is connected to this one. And this one. It lifts up this one. So when this lights up. The redstone power doesn't go continue on to this one because this thing is what closes the door behind you when you go through the pressure plate round so when you power from there there has there had to be something that disables this and this actually worked and I was happy about it because I was hitting my head against the wall when I was making that much smaller and then yeah, that was that part, and then I actually explained this part too. So this is just a super fast pulse. And this is just swapping that back and forth. Pulse comes, goes there, pulse comes again, goes... It goes back. Unless you're powered there, then it stays over here until you, you step on the pressure plate, and then that thing pushes it back and the door closes behind you so you don't have to manually close the door ever 
And this is just an item elevator. I'm not a pro with redstone. And I'm not sure if this is the smallest thing you can do. But unfortunately, because... I don't know, am I just stupid or something? I couldn't make anything better than this, so... It stayed the same what it was in the beginning. So... Now that I have showed everything... I guess we gotta build it then. I don't know. I guess we gotta. So we're gonna build it with all the colors and stuff. So we want the glass, we want the blue wool, and I should probably show you how many blocks actually this takes. Just this is kind of to show the space it requires. This is where we put the tree if you want to have the third block up flat over here. So, this is taking as small space as possible over here. Or this is representing the smallest space it can take. And yeah, this is where it opens and you can add as much dirt around this as you wish. And you can have a tree or the dirt block over there. And this is just the passageway through. So that is how you do the complicated version of the 1x1 door. Elytra door. Secret passageway. Whatever you want to call it. Also, I want to give a hint. Or, and not a hint. I want to give... A tip, when you make a secret place, as long as there's no hackers, they can find you if you cover up your house with... I'm pretty sure this blocks just changed somehow. Whatever. So if your name tag is inside a chest or someone looks at you with the chest in front of your name tag, they can't see your name tag. Although, we are in 1.10. I don't actually know does that work anymore. But it should. I don't think they have fixed it. So yeah, that's how you make the complicated version of the stupid door. Yes, I just called it stupid because this video... Ah, forget about it. I tried to make this look professional. That's it. Thank you guys for watching and wasting your own time, unless you liked it. So, hopefully you came here for this door and not just because you were bored. And hopefully you will use this door and you will find a use for it. If you ever get to Elytra. And yeah, see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play.